I don't think that thinking more positively or thinking better thoughts is the key. Like, I don't think that trying to push your mind towards more positive thinking is the key. I think the easiest and the most simple, simplest way to like really relax and ease your mind is to just think less, is to just not think at all. Because I learned through experience, like I've tried like to do the daily affirmations, I've tried to do the, you know, the journaling, and I've tried to do like the positive, you know, affirmations and stuff. And, you know, for the first few days, the first week or so, the first maybe month or so, like, you know, if you feel like it's working, like you feel like that those affirmations are benefiting you, it's working, it's doing something for you. But then when life throws something at you and you're like, when life throws something at you and life is trying to put you to the test to see if you actually believe these affirmations you're saying, if you actually believe that you're going to think more positive or whatever the case may be, it's like you're falling right back down the rabbit hole. You're falling right back down to your old ways of thinking. You're falling right back down to your old responses to like life throwing something at you. And that's why I say I don't think the key, at least in my opinion, is to think is to try to think more positive. I think instead of trying to think better thoughts, we should be trying to think less. Instead of trying to think more positively, we should just learn to just not think at all. Because your mind is like the root of all your suffering. Your mind is the root of all your stress because your mind is what creates those problems. Your mind is what judges things. Your mind is what puts labels on things. Your mind is what sets expectations on things and other people outside of you. Like it's not you as a being that's looking at someone and judging them. It's not you as a being that's looking at your life situation and judging that and comparing yourself to other people like that's not you doing that that is your mind like looking at that as a problem and saying i need to solve that so the key the solution in my opinion is to not like fight with your mind to not battle with your mind because that's a battle that you're never gonna win like you have to just truly surrender to like surrendering to the point where you're letting go surrendering to the point to where your mind is saying things and you're like that's cool i hear you but like i am i'm not gonna entertain that like you got to get to that point to where like it's like a great example is like you can't you can't try to be positive with, with someone that loves negativity you can't try to like communicate properly with someone with someone that loves to argue you can't try to explain yourself to someone that doesn't listen like it eventually gets to the point where like you're trying to explain yourself to someone and you know they don't listen it gets to that point where you're like bro i'm i'm done i'm not gonna keep explaining myself to you because you're not even paying attention you're not listening like that's how you got to be with your mind you got to get to the point with your mind where you're like bro i'm done entertaining you because every time i listen to you I stress every time I listen to you, there's a problem. Every time I listen to you, I regret the decision that I made. Like you got to get to that point to where you are just surrendering and letting go of whatever your mind is sharing with you. And when you get to that point of like self-control, when you get to that point of like freedom, when you get to that point of surrender to where you're not like listening to the every thought that pops up you're not focused on the every judgment that pops up you're not focused on the every opinion that pops up and you're just being you're just alive you're just enjoying the moment living life like that's where that positivity comes from that's where that love comes from that's where that happiness that joy that freedom, that inner peace, like that's where all that comes from. All those positive emotions comes from a quiet mind. Like 
you ever heard that saying that the loudest person in the room is the weakest person in the room? Like, that's how it is with your mind, bro. That's how it is. Like, you can literally see that in other people. Like, the person that's usually the loudest person in the room, they probably don't have any control of their mind. They probably don't have any control of their mind because they're just saying whatever comes to mind. And, you know, looking at the most enlightened people, like examples like the Buddha, um, a lot of people that are Christians, like you can say Jesus, like just people that have reached that level of consciousness. Like you look at them, like they don't just waste energy on words. They don't just say whatever comes to mind. You can tell that when a word leaves that, when a word leaves their mouth, it's coming from a place of like, it's not coming from their mind. It's coming from a deeper level of being is coming from a deeper level of consciousness to where like I don't have to think or they don't have to think about what they're gonna say they're saying it from their deepest core so I think that yeah bro we just gotta learn to think less thoughts instead of trying to think better thoughts because that is a battle you will never win you will never win the battle of trying to force your mind to be more positive or trying to force your mind to be less judgmental or trying to force your mind to be like more kind and more considerate and compassionate towards others like you can't you can't like make peace with somebody that loves war like in order to make peace with someone that loves to fight that loves war that loves to argue you make peace by removing yourself you make peace by removing yourself and leaving that person to go to war with themselves and when they go to war with themselves they'll end up getting rid of themselves they'll end up losing themselves the same way a person will lose himself lose themselves is the same way your mind will lose itself and begin to just shut up and be quiet and once you get there, that's when, you know, spiritually, that's when internally, that's when, like, you will just experience a whole new you as a human being. You'll experience a whole new level of consciousness. You'll, that's when, like, you know, we was talking about thinking more positive or thinking more optimistically. That's when your mind will begin to naturally think more in alignment with who you want to be and that's because since your mind isn't in control anymore your mind is following you and since you're walking around as this positive being your body is feeling these positive emotions your mind has no choice but to either fall in line or get out the way and yeah man that's pretty much it man that's my thoughts on it that's my perspective on it bro just stop trying to think better and just think less i think that's the key i think that is the um solution to all the depression all the anxiety all the problems all the mental stress that we go through stop trying to think better and just think less quiet your mind enough to where you're able to actually live your life and navigate through life the way you want to without your mind getting in the way of that and yeah that's pretty much it man make sure you like and share this video with someone who needs to hear this and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more sending peace sending love sending blessings as always i love you